Hey everyone, my name is Marshall Mind bringing you a brand new video and today I am going to be boxing with Conor McGregor and as you can see right there I am going up against Nate Diaz who actually defeated Conor McGregor for the first time in the octagon in the last fight that Conor McGregor had. Now, um, I don't use Conor McGregor very often, but when I do, I try to keep it strictly boxing. I try to use his straights, his uppercuts, and anyone that has ever faced me when I had Conor McGregor will attest that I do not play cheesy when I have Conor McGregor. I try to play as realistically as possible as he tags me with a, a jab straight right there. And basically what I'm trying to do is just move around, trying to move my head. I'm not using any parries at all because I, I, I don't get any enjoyment from using parries. So what you see right there is manual head movement. I am, I am moving my head, trying to sway these strikes and come back with a straight up right there. I sway, come back with a straight lance clean. And um, I'm using my movement, trying to be Conor McGregor, moving around the cage, trying to cut angles and, and catch him coming in with the straights. And uh, this Nate Diaz player made it easier to use Conor McGregor the correct way. Um, he wa I wouldn't say he was throwing anything crazy. He was using his jabs, his straights. He was moving forward. He was trying to fight like Nate Diaz would, which really allowed me to... Uh, to use my movement and cut angles right there. I catch him with a step in jab uh, uh, Overhand right and the one thing I love doing with Conor McGregor is I like stepping in with my shots Like I'll back up back up back up and then step in with a with a combination and just catch you off guard It's really effective works wonders as I'm hitting him with a uppercut right there slowly getting his head red um, He realizes what I'm doing starts backing up. I catch him with a right hook right there and um I'm just trying to use my movement, trying to find those angles and put those and put those strikes in there without having to use the parries. Um, so I'm backing up. I'm not. I'm not really moving forward like Conor McGregor um, should or the way Conor McGregor did in that fight. As I catch him with a straight right there over the top, followed by an uppercut, catch him with a with a lead head kick, tagging him right there, just hitting him left and right, man. I mean, you can't really exchange with Conor McGregor too much in this game. He will get the upper hand right there, jab, overhand, catch him with that, straight right, his his hurt. I'm looking for that knockout, trying to move forward, but he moves back way too quickly. And I'm going to look for the knockout a little bit right there, and then I'm going to stop. That is one thing that I don't do in this game. I don't fish for the knockout. If I hurt you, and I throw a few combinations, and I'm not able to get you out of there, I don't keep pushing it. Because that is how, one, you get taken down, and that is how you get rocked yourself. So you got to try to remain patient, even when you rock your opponent. Just take it easy, back up, know that you have them hurt, and it's only a matter of time before you actually hurt them again. So I'm just moving. I'm not really eager to throw a lot of combinations. Just trying to find the right spot to put those uh, strikes in. Right there, I'm going to sidestep, uppercut, straight, nasty, sidestep again. Hit him with that uppercut jab again, and I'm just I'm just trying to find the correct angles to put those strikes in there, and I get him with that straight at the end of the round. Um, in my opinion, the the best way that I feel Conor McGregor would be able to defeat Nate Diaz in an actual fight is if he played the counter game. Um, if he's the aggressor, um, he's gonna waste a lot of energy, and that's basically what happened to him in that fight. Um, he was throwing a lot of power shots, and he was looking for the knockout, and just constantly, I, did, I really did not expect him to throw that many overhand straights. In my opinion, the best way to, to actually beat Nate Diaz is to counter, and when Conor McGregor was countering in that fight, that's when he was landing the heaviest shots. He was slipping the jab and coming over the top of the straight. He was doing that so masterfully, and in their, in their next fight, I believe Conor McGregor should play the counter game and not really push forward unless he has Nate Diaz hurt. But I'm um, round number two right here. Uh, we touch it up. And uh, right here, um, I'm just, like I said in, in the first round, I'm trying to find clear openings to put those strikes in. And I, I'm leading with my straight a lot because with the straight, I get, um, I get hit reaction. So right here, I'm looking for the step in overhand right i'm looking for it looking for it trying to find the right opening to put that shot in there he's going for the body uppercuts right there i get it the step in jab followed by the overhand right i'm gonna look for it one more time because it's landing really well and i'm catching him off guard backing up a little bit using my jab using my straights overhand using my straights uppercut 
I'm going to back up a little bit and look for it one more time. Look for it. Boom, boom. Hurt him again. Step in straight. Fight is over. Drop them. We're going to get on top and finish out the fight like that. I really caught this guy off guard. He will step in, and I will step in with my jab, followed by the overhand right. Very, very, um, very fun fight that I had. I really enjoyed the way the fight ended. Um, I wish everyone would use Conor McGregor like that. You know, just focus on his boxing and, you know, use his kicks to set up the boxing because that is basically what Conor McGregor does in the octagon. He's a boxer. He's really not a kickboxer. I mean, he's going to throw a few kicks here and there. But he, he doesn't really put anything behind his kicks. He, he, he mainly wants to set you up for that straight left or for that left hook or for that uppercut. Every single strike he throws is to set up his boxing. And um, I wish the game was developed in a way that players had to use Conor McGregor like that. But it's not. Every time you run into a Conor McGregor player, you're going to be running into spinning strikes left and right. But... I don't play like that. I don't derive any joy in playing like that. And if you watch my videos, I hope you don't as well. Challenge yourself to not use Conor McGregor like that. Challenge yourself to use Conor McGregor in a more fun way. But uh, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section if you did. And I will see you guys in the next EA Sports UFC 2 ranked match. Be safe, guys. Be safe.